This is like the old school Korean style fried chicken. This color? Yeah. It's burnt. Hi, this is Tina from All You Can Japan. Today we're here with my friend Juhyun, who happens to be visiting Tokyo for a few days. We'll be trying fried chicken from the three biggest convenience store chains in Japan, which are Lawson, Family Mart, and 7-Eleven. As Korea is pretty famous for their fried chicken, I thought I'd like to hear the opinions from this Korean guy. My name is Juhyun Lee, and uh, I'm from South Korea. And this is actually my ninth time in Japan. Yeah, convenience store fried chicken is actually something common in Korea as well. I think I haven't tried it quite a lot in Korea because Korean convenience store food is actually a little bit worse than in Japan. It's Japan, like convenience store food is awesome here. So yeah, I hope Tex texture, taste, and extra points for the seasoning. When you're eating fried chicken, there is a shell and there's the chicken inside. And I think the shell should not be too thick. It shouldn't be too bready. I don't like chicken that is too greasy. Well, did you know that in J Japanese convenience stores, there's like a lot of different types. I think there should be over 20 oh. different types. But to keep it simple, we're mm. gonna try the OG chicken mm. from the three biggest stores. Okay. How do we say let's go in Korean? Gaza! It smells, it smells pretty good actually and I can't see oil on the actual breading so I am I actually have very high hopes for this I'm getting KFC vibes for this texture wise it's not too bready and the seasoning here is actually quite delicious I actually pretty like this chicken this is much more superior than Korean fried chicken and Korean convenience store chicken I give it a 3.5. I look like I have difficulty eating it, but I think it's just because of the, what do you call it? Like the muscle in the meat. So it was kind of hard for me to tear it open. I can easily finish this in one go. It makes me want to buy some drink to go with it. I eating leaves a little bit more to be desired, but taste wise, I think it's pretty good. The breading's also not too thick and uh, See, I can't stop eating. Probably a 3.5 as well. It smells a little bit more spicier than the last one. It's a lot warmer than the last one, so I still have high expectations. It's quite thicker, actually, the cut itself. So, here we go. The breading is actually, a I think it's a little bit more thinner compared to the last one, so that's a win. The, the cut they're using is a thigh or some place more of a dark, darker meat. And of course it gets a little more oily than the last one, but the flavor of the dark meat kind of covers it. I think I would score this a little bit more higher than the last one. It smells kind of spicy, but there is actually no spice, so keep that in mind. And I think I would give this a 4 out of 5. Yeah, it is thicker than the one we had just now at Lawson. The smell is quite similar, to be honest. For me, this is oilier. Texture-wise, this is better, but I can also feel like the blobs of oil in it probably the skin or just the oil from the meat. The meat is also more tender. So for me, I would also score this a 3.5. So in case you guys didn't know, when you buy the chicken, it comes in a bag like this. And you can actually see there's a line. And then when you just tear it open, this is just the right uh, bag for you to eat your fried chicken in. Smell-wise, it smells a lot more similar to KFC than the last one, actually. Mm. 
for me, I think this has the th thickest spreading of three. There is a slight sour component in the meat. Uh, I think that's the flavor of the chicken breast, but I don't really approve it. I would give this probably a two and a half. I'm sorry. I'll be honest, actually, this is my favorite normally. But today, looking at this one, maybe I didn't get lucky because it looks very oily. It's one lesson learned about um, kombini fried chicken is that, you know, it's most of the time it's about luck. It's very oily today. But for me, breading and flavor-wise, Emily Mar actually has the best seasoning for me. It's not very fresh today. It's not crispy enough. Meat is quite tender which is a good thing because um, the one from Lawson was actually a bit dry. I mean, it also has to do with the fact that maybe I was eating from the wrong direction, but it's fried chicken. Is there really a correct direction to eat fried chicken? They all rate 3.5 to me. They're all above average, but slightly disappointing today. But that's why we have Juhyun here, who has never had this fried chicken before to give you his verdict. Mine doesn't matter. I mean, if you're really hungry, then yeah, sure, go to a convenience store and grab some fried chicken because when they're bad, they're still pretty good. But if you're craving some really quality convenience store fried chicken, a busy convenience store, well, they'll have to keep resupplying the chicken so you get some nice, fresh, hot chicken. Disclaimer, these are our personal opinions based on some articles online, which are surveys conducted with Japanese people. The majority's consensus in terms of ranking seems to be Family Mart, Lawson, and 7-Eleven. So yeah, what's your final ranking? My final ranking is that I, if I were to visit Japan again, I would go for the 7-Eleven chicken because uh, it was, it had better flavor and it had the best texture, I think. Second? Second would be Lawson's. It was good. I, I think I would go for it again. Third is... Family Mart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think they didn't have much luck picking the right pieces, but based on what I've tasted today, I'm sorry, Family Mart. Yeah. Yeah, if you like this video or, you know, find the content useful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, I don't have a hand to do this, so could you cover the camera for me? See you next time! See you next time! I think they can tell we're using a recycled chicken. <laughs> Biro, Biro.